Hey guys, so I got my Bible off of Amazon and one of the things that I was really, really nervous about um, about getting a Bible is that I would not be able to understand it because when I was reading it before, I never understood what was going on because there was a lot of thou, art, they, like in the uh, King James Version. This is the NKJV Version, um, so it's not as much as that, but sometimes I still don't understand what I'm reading. Um, and so one of my prayers have been to ask the um, Holy Spirit to translate my reading and allow me to relate it to the life that I am living now or to relate it to my life or the people that are around me and, you know, to help people, to help others. So I'm in the book of Jeremiah today. And one of the, the major thing of the book of Jeremiah is that the Israel people are creating idols. They're creating other gods lowercase g and not uh serving the real true god and so 519 spoke to me like very loud very very loud and what i do i highlight it i really need to get one that um has like the notes on the side but anyway i highlight it and i write like the little translation that i have next to it um but 519 i'm 519 is it's not long but i'm just gonna skip down to the part that i got the revelation from so just as you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land so shall serve aliens in the land that is not yours so basically god had promised them a land and now they have created gods to serve they have created other idols to serve instead of god but they came back to god when they were in the time of need they came back to god capital g the one and true god when they were serving lowercase g other gods and when they thought they didn't need him they thought that he was irrelevant but now they came back to god um to ask for forgiveness ask for his mercy or whatever 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 and so the translation that I got from this is that the gods we create for ourselves will be the very thing that God allow us to sit in when we need our true God. So a lot of times we create things for ourselves and we think that that will sustain us, but it won't. Like, and then when we are in trouble, we ask God, where are you? But whole time we have been creating things to, we, our foundation has been wrong. Like our foundation has been wrong. And so how will you know you ever need God if you don't sit in things that are not wrong so i was just thinking like hmm if god allows us to sit in our idols and if god allows us to sit in whatever we create circumstance we create for ourselves how will we know when he comes to rescue us like he will always be merciful it, it says it multiple times in the book of jeremiah in the book of deuteronomy in the book of the whole Bible that God is a merciful God and he will forgive you. And he'll forgive your sins. But a lot of times he will allow you to face the consequences that you have created on yourself. So I just thought I would come on here and share that revelation that I got. Because if I'm thinking like, <laughs> if I'm thinking for real, for real, like there's a lot of things that I have created on myself. And then I go back to God and be like, oh God, I need your help in this, 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 and this. The whole time he was there the whole time trying to guide me through it and not necessarily so I can worship other idols, but so that he can walk through it with me. And he can be the only source that I go to when it comes to um, life, really. So yeah.